Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Aquarius, this is going to be your initial February 2021 reading. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. Now, if you are returning here, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. And now what I do here, Aquarius, is I ask that your higher self, your guides, come and speak to mine for this reading to give the highest and best information that is possible during this recording. Ah, eh, cards are flying. Must retrieve. All right, so if this one does not resonate with you, I think all of these are timeless. They're just basically when they're recorded, they get put on like that, like this one, February, 2021. So go check out the playlist. Let's see here. Make sure you like this video so it gets spread around to other Aquarius who need to hear this healing message. All right. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Now flip these two as it resonates with yours. So you've got the Four of Wands, the Sun, and the Ace of Wands. So you're definitely looking forward to a commitment. The star is showing that you've got a lot of hope towards it. And the wands is that you know this is going to be a new situation that will bring even more passion into this situation. Now your person has the six of swords. They're, they're excited and ready to go into calmer waters. With this eight of coins... They feel like they have enough to offer a solid grounded situation. They've got some, mm, help me out here, spirit. What say you about the five of cups? Your person's a little hesitant. They've got some thoughts of should I do this is this going to turn out like the other one but then I also feel like there's a bit of their thoughts returning to the past because I feel like your energy is like nice and shiny and ready to go you know and this person like I said does want to go into calmer waters here's the lover's card the Fool and the King of Swords. So I feel like your person might have gone a little cold here. They want a new beginning too, because it's like, I feel like either you guys were just about to get married, just about to move in, you know, some commitment was happening. And then they got cold feet and started thinking about the past and, you know, concerning themselves with that. You know, but they do want a new beginning. But with the Sword card... There's some inner demons, inner shadow selves that they need to work through. You know, because I hear spirit saying, you know, they're like, am I too young to do this? But then they love, they love you dearly, but this might be their second marriage. Or they're just fearful of, you know, maybe they were engaged before. Maybe they had moved in with someone else. And they're kind of like looking into the past, even though with this, Six of Swords here, they're trying to move into calmer waters by letting that go. Now, guys, do you have anything else you'd like to offer? They're saying no. And the overall is this Two of Coins. Trying to keep things balanced, looking into the future. I feel like, you know, you, you're a very happy go lucky person here and this might have you know thrown you off your balance and it definitely threw them off their balance for sure you got the two of cups here 
So there's, you know, with the four of wands and the two of cups, you're definitely very much in love with this person. You see this as a really good option. With the star comes the three of coins. So you're, you're willing to, you know, put in the work to build that solid foundation with this person. And now you're just kind of wondering, this is crazy amazing. Probably six or seven of the readings I did for February 2021 have aces on top of aces. So you've got this ace of wands and the ace of swords. So you're wanting this fiery, passionate new beginning. And you, especially with this particular card in this deck, it's like you're ready to cut out whatever needs to be cut out. Like, hmm, let me take care of it for you. You know, because with your positive attitude, you know, you're... That's one of the reasons why your person loves you so much. Because they get caught up in their head and you're like, no, everything's perfectly rosy and fine. With the six of swords is the eight of swords. So this is exactly what I was talking about. You know, in their own head... Thinking about, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? Is, you know, blah, 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 blah. They're just annoying themselves. And in, in the same token, I'm sure that they're annoying you. Where you're like, come on, stick with the positive, stick where you are right now. Because they know that you're the queen of cups. They know you are. And it's not like they want to lose you or let you go. It's just, you know, whatever. If you were wondering what this pulling back is, this is what it's about. This whole thing here. So the two of wands. So definitely looking into the future. You know, after they get through this, this five of cups where they're like, I don't know. You know, I keep focusing on what was instead of what is. And I think they're going to be able to turn their gaze back to looking into the now, looking into the future, you know, building something with you as their lover. What is this Princess of Cups about? Yeah, I just feel like they feel almost like, like they're unworthy. They're unworthy for, to a certain to a certain degree, because you're such a happy, positive person, and they're a little bit got some dark energy going on, and they're like, "Am I good enough for you? You know, you really want this cup from me? <laughs> because that's the kind of uh, energy I'm getting from that." <laughs> With this fool comes the Princess of Swords. Spirit, tell me what this is about. Yeah, it's so you might be younger than them. Because like I was saying with this other one here with the Ace of Swords, you're like, oh no, I'll cut out whatever we need to. Tell me where it is and I'll go cut it out. Your energy is just like, you're just a go-getter. With this King of Swords is the Three of Cups. So they know that the three fates have come to them. You know, they know that you are this amazing, what I'm hearing is a pixie. So I don't know if you're, maybe your energy is like a pixie, light, bright, sparkles follow you wherever you go and or switch the storyline as it reads, but that's how they see you. You know, and they want the celebration with you. So if you were concerned, don't be, just know that they've got some inner demons that they need to slay, you know, and. You're like, oh yeah, where are they? I'll go get them. Unfortunately, that's something that you can't go and do. It's something that only they can do. But it looks like they're going to move through this and they're going to, you know, let that stuff go. Now, what else? What other cards? Okay. We're going to use the Twin Flame. All right. So we got the Patience card or Divine Timing. So whatever it is, you know, give them the time they need. And that looks like a little pixie dre dress. Then look, there's the little sparkles. I 
I think you were wondering if you needed to refocus. Sure, there's nothing wrong with refocusing, but this person, they just got to work through it. Because they've been abandoned before and they're scared to be abandoned again. Because like here, remember, where they're like, am I good enough for you? Do you really want to take this cup from me? You know, they're kind of worried that they can't, they can't keep up with you. Mirroring, what does that mean? Okay, so they're like trying to mirror the beauty that you are, but with the shadow part of them, it's hard. You know, it's like they're trying to be a swan too, but you know, theirs is distorted. And you love them nonetheless, you know? You realize that this is a cycle that they have to go through and that everything will be fine. You know, maybe they need some contemplation time. You know, but this is just kind of their fear of how awesome you are and the hurt that they experienced in the past. And they don't want to be abandoned again. So with you being your little pixie self, you might just need to give them some extra reassurance that they're the bee's knees. What other messages do we want to spread here? So Aquarius, if this is resonating with you, please leave me a like so it gets to other Aquarius's. And when I'm pointing, I'm pointing to the Aquarius card here. Um, so they can get this message to know to use their pixie powers, okay? <laughs> And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Now, what other cards? All right. Let's use these romance angels. Attraction. You're <clears throat> you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. And I can kind of see that with them where they're trying to mirror your gloriousness. Because I don't feel that you're being codependent. I don't feel that because you're such a light, bright, beautiful little pixie that, and pixie could be he, she, they, so don't be getting all up into it, right? Um, they're just really intimidated by you. I mean, like I keep going back to this card because there's all the cards you need. There's the two of cups. There's the four of wands. There's the lovers. There's patience. There's, you know, the two of cups. There's all that you need to make this work. But they're just like really insecure right now. Like you, you seriously want this? You want this? Uh, okay. So you're just going to have to let them figure it out. Because, you know, you've already figured it out. It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so then it comes to you now. But like they also pointed out, there's patience that is involved. You know what you want. This person knows what they want. They just need to do some clearing and feel some, clear out some fear. You know, because your picture, pixie energy um, is definitely intimidating them. Little fairy, little pixie, you know what I'm saying? All right, so Aquarius, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Um, this was a beautiful reading, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye.